Well, guys, uh, earlier we have seen uh, why the applications actually become slow. Uh, they usually tend to become slow when there is load on those applications. Not all applications, not all applications, but some applications. Now, let's see what exactly is performance testing. Okay. So let's consider any application. Let's say our application under test is a Gmail application. Uh, application under test, usually uh, there's a terminology for that. We call it as AUT or SUT. SUT is called system under test. AUT is application under test. Both of them means the same thing. The application that you are actually testing or the application that you are about to do the performance testing on. Okay, so here let's take the example. I've been taking the example so, so that you understand better. So let's take our Gmail application. So let's assume that's our application under test or in other words, that's what we are testing it. Okay, so if you're doing the performance testing on it, the first thing what you have to do is you have to make this application used by multiple users. Okay, in this example, we are making this application used by five different users. Okay. So by making these five users use this application called Gmail application, what you are actually doing, you are creating the load on this application, which is the Gmail application. Okay. So in our example, we are creating the load of five users, but in the real time applications, this number is usually huge. Okay. On a moderate performance testing application, you might have 500 to 1000 users. Uh, or in a big performance testing uh, project, you might have even 1500 or 2000 users. Okay, uh, typically 500 to 1000 is a normal, but I don't want to draw so many. So here I consider only five users. So whether you're using five users or 50 users or 500 users, what you're creating, you're creating the load on this application called Gmail application. Okay. Once we create this load on the application, now as a performance tester, what you are supposed to do, you will check the performance of this application. Okay, how do you check? You will see if this application is becoming slow or fast. Okay, so let's say you're testing it with only one user the application typically will be fast if it's a good application. But now you have created a load of five users. Okay, in this example, now under this load of five users, you will check if this application is becoming any slower. Okay, that's what I mean when, you, when I say check the performance of the application. If the application is not becoming slow, then you can say that this is a good application and this can go into the production right away. Okay, but if it's a bad application, if it's, I mean, when I say bad application, in the sense, if it's not, uh, properly performance tested. Uh, that's what we are doing right now. So then the applications tend to become a little slower. And once this application becomes slower, now you can tell to the client key, uh, if this application is going into production and you have five users uses this, using this application at the same point of time, then it's going to definitely become slow. So what ideally we are supposed to do, then we, are, so we have to send, uh, we have to send our uh, uh, assumptions to the developer uh, telling them that under the load of five users this application is becoming slow now we have to figure out what is the reasons for becoming slow and we have to fix that issue so in the real-time situations what happens this application goes to the developer or the performance engineer they are the ones who will figure out the actual issue and fix the issue and they give it back to you once they give it back to you Again, you have to test it with five users and uh, that will create the load and you will uh, you will have these five users use this application and then again you'll check the performance of the application. When I said checking the performance, you have to see if it is becoming slow or is it retaining that speed. If it is becoming slow, then you say that whatever the fixes you have done, it is not taking care of the problem or if it is not becoming slow, then you say that developers, you have done a good job under five user load, it's working fine. And now we can deploy it into production. Again, I'm telling you in our example, I'm taking this user load as five, but in the real time, typically it will be anywhere from 500 to 2000 users. Okay. So this is exactly what is performance testing guys. I hope you understood what is performance testing and what you do in when you go, go as a performance tester and deployed into a 
uh, project. Now, the next thing is these users. Okay, these five users you have. Let's take the same Gmail application, and you want to have this Gmail application used by five users. So since it's five users, you can call your friends, you can call your um, family, friends, or project team members and have this application used by them, if it's five users. But let's say the client requirement is 500 users. The client said that my application in the real-time production or in the real-time environment will be used by 500 users at the same point of time or 500 users simultaneously. Now we have to obviously test it with 500 users because that's the kind of load uh, that application has to handle in the production or in the real time. So when we have to test, we have to create that 500 user role. So isn't it difficult to call 500 people and have this Gmail application used by all those 500 people? It is, it is not possible. 500 is still, you know, if you have, if you are really good with the company and your company is big and all of them like you, you know, all these guys might come once and have this application used by all of, I mean, all of them will be using this application at some point of, at the, the same point of time and you can create the law. But not all the people, you know, have that kind of contacts. Okay, 500 somehow you will do, but let's say it's 2000. Now, what will you do? It becomes really difficult. Okay, so we can ha we cannot have 2000 real users using that application just for testing it. So to avoid this problem, what we can do is <coughs> we can we can replace these real users by something called virtual users. So what are these virtual users? These virtual users, they act like exactly real users, which means that they will be using this application called Gmail, but they are not real users. They are tool generated users. They are virtual, virtual in the sense, not real. Okay, so these are tool generated users and uh, they will be exactly acting like the real users. But the only good thing about these virtual users is they are completely in your hands. They will start once you ask them to start, they will stop once they once you ask them to stop, they will perform what you ask them to perform. Like let's say you want them to log into Gmail, all of them they will log in. You want me to come you want them to compose uh, uh, in, in email they will compose you want you want them to delete an email they will delete you want them to create an email and send it it will do it so whatever you want them to do it they will do it but these are not real users these are tool generated users and they are completely in your hands you can play around in, the, in any way you want so these are virtual users or v users so v users is a top very very popular word in performance testing world, uh, so uh, this this v users can be generated by any performance testing tool. There are a lot of performance testing tools out there, so all of them have the capability or the ability to create these v users or the virtual users. And the popular tools, if you are willing to know. There is Load Runner or Performance Center, Strong Runner, Rational Performance Tester, JMeter. Uh, 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 these days, NeoLoad is becoming popular. There is something called WebLoad. There is something called OATS, Oracle Application Testing Suite. Other than this, there are a lot of open source, there are a lot of other open source tools. And all of these tools have the capability to create these virtual users or the v users. So when we do the performance testing, let me go back a slide. So when we do the performance testing, we don't do the testing with the real users. We will do the testing with the virtual users for the obvious uh, challenges you have by using the real users. So this is what is performance testing, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, please give me the feedback. One more thing I would like to add over here is the users. These five users uh, in our example, they are, they are using this application at the same point of time or in other words, we are applying the load of these five users on this application simultaneously. So there is a special word for this. We call these users are 
as concurrent users. Concurrency is nothing but at the same point of time or simultaneously. Since these users are active and you actively using this application at the same point of time, we call this as concurrent users.